One of the most important benefits of the SOLIDWORKS inspection add-on is the ability to create projects which can be used to generate inspection reports. In this lesson, I'll show you how to set up the inspection project, starting with loading the add-in. Inside SOLIDWORKS, I'll click on the Options drop-down arrow, select Add-ins from the list, and scroll down inside the Add-ins dialog box until I see the SOLIDWORKS inspection item. Here, I have options to make the add-in active for this session and automatically activate it when starting up SOLIDWORKS. For now, I'll just make sure it's active for this session and click OK. Now I'll click Open, load the end cap file, and notice that the SOLIDWORKS inspection tab has appeared in the command manager which provides the series of tools to create projects and generate inspection reports. To start a project, I'll click the New Inspection Project button. Choose the ANSI B4.1 IT7 template and click OK. Next, I'm required to specify the properties, custom properties, and characteristic information of the project. I'd like to point out that the properties of a drawing file can be found by clicking the File Properties icon at the top of the interface and switching to the Custom tab. The same is true for part files, which also have an option for configuration-specific properties. Specifying these properties before setting up the inspection project allows me to pull this property information into the project and any future reports. Under the Properties section is a list of properties whose values I can automatically specify by clicking on their labels and linking each of them to a custom property. For example, I'll click Part Name, and a window appears with tabs displaying custom properties from Drawing, custom properties from Model, and Model Configuration-specific properties. I'll switch to the second tab, select the Description option, and click OK. I'll repeat this for the part number. And part revision. This time using the revision from the first tab. Alternatively, I can manually specify properties by typing values into their corresponding fields. For example, I'll set the document name as cap inspection and the number as CAP-001. Notice also that the vendor field has a dropdown containing a list of suppliers that you can choose from. I'll show you how to customize this list in a future lesson, but for now, I'll leave it blank. Additionally, you can create custom properties by clicking the Add button, choosing a name from the dropdown, such as Material, and inputting a new value manually by typing or automatically linking it to a custom property by clicking the plus icon. Since I don't need any custom properties, I'll click Delete to remove this. For the characteristic information, I can specify several parameters related to ballooning. I'll keep the balloon start number at 1, set the sort order to clockwise, the classification as major, and the extraction method to automatic. Checking Create for each instance will create a separate instance for characteristics whose quantity is greater than 1, and will add an additional row on the spreadsheet in an inspection report. Auto Balloon will automatically add balloons to a drawing. I recommend you keep this enabled unless you have a large drawing, since this can increase the processing time. By checking Prevent Automatic Renumbering, any future addition or removal of balloons will not affect the numbering of the remaining balloons. I'll leave this unchecked here. The sampling section contains parameters related to an inspection standard known as the ANSI Z1.4 table. This lets inspectors match lot or batch sizes of items with inspection levels and types to determine an acceptable quality level, or AQL. Essentially, this is a statistical sampling method used to determine the number of acceptable defects for a given lot size of manufactured goods. The details of this table are beyond the scope of this course, but it's helpful to know that the inspection add-in lets you specify these terms, 
which I'll do here. I'll use a lot size of 200, set to level 2, with a normal type, and an AQL of 2.5. I'll click the next arrow and move on to the extraction settings, where I can choose which types of dimensions, notes, and other characteristics to balloon. For dimensions, I'll check everything except inspection only and secondary units. Make sure the whole callouts has the inspection only value unchecked as well, and click the next arrow. Under tolerance settings, I can set the default tolerance to by precision or by range, change the units being used, and adjust the values for each precision level or range along with their tolerance values on a linear and angular basis. I'll set this to by precision, leave the units at their defaults, and adjust the precision levels for the linear dimensions. and the angular dimensions. As a quick note, you can also adjust these based on the tolerances found in the title block of the drawing. Now I'll click OK, and you can see how SolidWorks auto-ballooned the drawing and displays the information on the left side. Finally, I'll save the inspection project as a template to preserve my linked properties, characteristic extraction settings, units, and default tolerances. From the Command Manager, I'll click Create New Template, choose to create the template from the current settings, save the file as sp-custom template under the Default Templates folder, and click OK. Now, when I switch over to a different drawing and start a new inspection project, you can see the option becomes available.